Shalom, Manishma, Hola, Como Esta, Bonjour, Comment allez-vous? Howdy, how you doing? I hope everybody's well. So today I'm having my first go at making a prehistoric arrow. Ingredients are two red kite feathers that I found a while back in the loch side, artificial sinew, an ash shaft, and I've got two flint napped prehistoric style points, reproductions basically. And the steps are cut a knot groove, cut a groove for the arrowhead, get the arrowhead fitting well, bind it on with the sinew, and then fletch it with these two feathers. So I'll be back as I completed each step. I'm doing this as a project for the Dumfries and Galloway Museums who, are, who have asked all the staff to do a blog based on an item in the museum that particularly struck them. Guess which one I picked? <laughs> right, back shortly when I've cut the groove for the knock. So there's the knock end done, which has turned out pretty well, it ain't perfect but pretty well good. Hopefully it'll fit on a string. And there's the groove for the arrowhead. It ain't perfect. And I've got two different arrowheads and they've got weird bulges on them. The camera picks it up. So they're not exactly flat on the end to try and fit them in very well, but I'll force it because it's not going to be short. Well, I maybe have a wee short, you know what I mean. Well, that was not too bad looking. The arrowhead's too small for the shaft, I think. It would be easier if I had a bigger arrowhead. I maybe order a couple. I'm quite pleased with that, and it's reasonably straight. I don't imagine that any prehistoric guy would have been bothered about the neatness, he'd have been bothered about the strength. Anyway, time to start thinking about how I'm going to flex it with these two feathers. <laughs> I haven't got a clue, but I'll work it out. That's how they would have done it. Hello again. So here we have the finished arrow. Unfortunately the camera had a hissy fit as I was doing the binding but I think it's turned out quite well. Since it isn't based on any design it is a, it is a real primitive arrow. I sort of designed it myself. And for comparison here's a modern mechanical broadhead in a carbon shaft with reinforcement there carbon fibre shaft super stiff fancy cresting four three inch shield cut fletches turkey feathers and a plastic knock what is this this flint napped point, an ash shaft, artificial sinew binding, two red kite feathers, and a slit cutting end for a knock. But both would be killers. This would be reusable many times. This, if you were lucky, you'd get two or three shots at it, I would imagine. So thank you Dumfries and Galloway Museums for the inspiration to make a primitive arrow. I really want to shoot it. <laughs> I really want to shoot it. But, oh it's got to be done. 
Oh, <laughs> hey, it looks even more authentic now it's been shot. So it takes a bit of your pounding. <laughs> Lovely.